Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to Talk Out of Change. Today we're going to be talking about Chef P, as you remember from the pink sauce. Um, we're going to go ahead and let T Spill share it to us a little bit. I'm sure y'all know her channel, T Spill. All right, let's watch a little bit here. Sick and setting herself up for a major lawsuit to being in retail stores that most business owners could only dream of being in. That's why people were so shocked when Chef P started to speak out against Dave's. They keep trying to silence me. They keep deleting the post because they know if they see it, they know if the people see it, what will happen. They lie to everybody. I don't even know how my posts keep getting deleted. But I want to say this, ma'am. Okay, so first of all, y'all know we already went over this whole thing, this whole part of the video, but there's more that came to it. Dave is going to put out their own statement. I want to say that. I want to take a step back. Something I didn't mention before in the previous video I had made about this is that it does not make sense for her to go after Dave's Gourmet. If she's saying that they, it, this is all alleged, but even if she was right and she was saying they were screwing her over, how would that make the pink sauce more... Uh, money you're you're gonna lose profit and she is losing money if she talks against her own sauce and all these royalties she talks about i just wanted to give y'all a quick little update uh or a little bit of a recap so that's pretty much what happened y'all remember she came out made this video and said that they're stealing money from me it's not right she gets on camera and then she gets back on here so they put out a statement and i'm gonna read it myself uh instead of uh making tea spill read it because this is my channel <laughs> i'm gonna read the voice but to be honest with you I tried to find this, uh, I tried to find this, but they actually deleted this whole post on their website. So I was just a tad step late. So uh, some of these channels, somebody may have sent it to them or something, but by the time I tried to see it, it was already deleted. So I'm gonna go ahead and read this and it's gonna get quite juicy, okay? I'm gonna try to give y'all a little bit of background music so it's not so boring to listen to, uh, but here we go. Yeah, that's nice, ain't it? In August 2020, Days Gourmet signed an agreement with Veronica Shaw and her entities, Pink Sauce LLC and Favorite Cla Crazy Incorp, in which FCPS LLC Shaw were responsible for promoting the pink, uh, promoting, uh, the pink sauce. So we're going to go ahead and move forward. Uh, at this time, uh, can y'all see my arrow? Y'all cannot. So it, I'm going to start right here. If you see the word at the time, at the time, Shaw was not producing PS because uh, pink sauce, because FDA instructed her to seize all the production due to quality concerns. She was making PCS in her kitchen pink sauce and was shipping it out without refrigeration in the heat of the summer. And the sauce frequently went bad. All right, so I'll read it as the video. I'll read it as the video plays. Uh, the sauce frequently went bad as evidenced by many social media posts buyers. The sauce was not shelf stable. It was not safe for shipping without refrigeration. There was a huge negative publicity online and, a social media, and on social media due to the quality issues that Shaw had experienced. According to the agreement, Shaw received a, play that music again for me, Shaw, Shaw received a upfront payment of $45,000 as a part of an agreement for the DG uh, to pursue the sales of pink sauce. Okay. According to the agreement, Miss Shaw was responsible for all the funds for the products that predated the agreement. After the agreement was signed, it turned out that neither Shaw or her entities had enough funds to cover all the funds to people who never received the product that she was responsible for, according to the agreement. It is our belief that Shaw was fully aware that there were not enough funds to cover the refunds. Let's stop right there. Let's stop right there. So, cut the music. So, right there. Shaw nor her entities had enough to recover all the refunds. She was responsible for a certain amount of refund, and she could not even cover them. So, there was a hole put by Shopify, as y'all can see that, on PayPal in most of the cash in and I'll show you the rest of it in her accounts. So they were even willing to help her because she couldn't pay back all the refunds. That's why she received the upfront payment of $45,000 as part of the agreement. 
Well, that was part of the agreements of the sales. But she was supposed to use that money to help also refund. That was on Miss Shaw. I'm not saying Dave's Gourmet didn't give her the money to do that, but she was supposed to use that money. She should have used that money to refund people. But she didn't have enough money to refund everybody. Let's get to you. There was a hole put by Shopify and PayPal on most of the cash in her accounts due to multiple customer complaints and even the cash, uh, even the cash that was there was mostly not available to pay refunds. Dave's Gourmet couldn't see the customers disappointed with no product and no refund, so it provided it. Look at look here. Stop the music. Okay, so forty five thousand dollars was given to her as part of the agreement. That's her money, and then they also look. So it provided, Dave's Gourmet provided $30,000 to cover the refunds, even though it was Shaw. So we're talking 75 racks right now. 75 racks. Key to music. Uh -uh. Even though this is Shaw's responsibility. Some of these funds came back to Dave's Gourmet after the hold on Shaw's account was lifted by PayPal and Shopify. Prior to entering the partnership with Dave's Gourmet, Shaw received and negotiated the contract with the help from her attorney. According to the contract, Shaw receives royalties that depend on the sales of her uh, pink sauce. And also, there is a milestone payment if certain goals are met. All payments have been communicated and paid on time in accordance with the agreement. Dave's Gourmet also advised Veronica that pink sauce royalties should not be her only source of income as they can fluctuate and she sh should have a regular job to make sure that she has financial stability. At the time, Dave's Gourmet did not know if any sales will be generated from Pink Sauce. Okay, so the person who did the video stopped. Okay. Ah, see, that's why I wish I would have been able to get it myself. Let's take a step back. Get that beautiful music going again. All right. <clears throat> All right, we'll just start up here at the top. Uh, uh, sorry, you can't see a little bit of it. At, at the time... They did not know that there would be uh, any sales generated from the pink sauce. In fall of 2022, start that music. In fall of 2022, Shaw was struggling financially. Days Gourmet wanted to be helpful in uh, wanted to be helpful over the course of several months, providing Shaw with multiple cash advances. The total the total more than that total more than forty thousand dollars without charging Shaw interest or fees. So it said Dave's Gourmet wanted to be helpful over the course of several months to Shaw with cash advances. Man, these advances were supposed to be offset by future royalties that Shaw was going to earn. In March of 2023, Shaw communicated that she had spent the entirety of her previous advances and that she needed another advance to feed her children and to be afforded to avoid being evicted. 40 racks wasn't enough. 40 racks in a small little time was not enough. Wow, that's more than some people making a year. Shaw communicated that she had spent the entirety of her previous advances and that she needed another advance to feed her children to avoid being evicted. Dave's Gourmet sent her two advances that totaled $5,000, but again encouraged her to continue working her other job and pursue her private chef career as she had been doing prior to partnering to the commercially produced pink sauce. Shaw wanted to know more about activities. I want to say this right quick too. Yeah, stop the music. Thank you. I want to say this too. Do y'all forget that she was the one on there talking about how she had the pink sauce in there and how much money she was making? And how, it made it seem like she was making so much bread on Instagram, but she didn't have enough money to feed her children. This is what the, the main character syndrome does to people, man. They get a little bit of success. They want to push it in everybody's face. Guys, everybody's got to get out of that high school mindset. The high school mindset that you got to be the most popular girl in school. You don't have to, baby. You don't have to be the most popular girl in school at all times. Everybody goes through things, but she didn't come out and say this stuff. She waited until she was flat broke and come out and did it. She wanted us to pay her money. She wanted us to pay her money. Ridiculous. All right. Play that music for me. Shaw wanted to know. Uh, uh, sorry. But again, encourage her to keep working. Uh, 
prior to commercial. Blah, 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 blah. Shaw wanted to know more about the activities to Pink Sauce at Dave's Gourmet. In the beginning of 2022, the Dave's Gourmet team set up a weekly standing meeting to discuss the brand strategy to support and collaborate with Shaw. And Shaw attended only a couple of these meetings and has not been in attendance since February 2023. Veronica requested over $10,000 in marketing expenses to throw herself a birthday party, people. A birthday party! It also, it also provided a request for Dave's Gourmet to pay for her dress that cost more than $800. $800? And shoes, which cost over $600, that would potentially be used for a TikTok video. Dave's Gourmet suggested a smaller budget, and because Dave's Gourmet would not approve these expenses, Shaw refused to collaborate or contribute to marketing efforts alongside Dave's Gourmet moving forward. February 2023, Shaw attempted to submit business expense reports for personal expenses like buying a pair of four, like buying four pairs of sneakers or expensing her grocery bills. Dave's Gourmet informed her that such activities were fraudulent and asked a lot of questions related to receipts submitted. Shaw did not respond to any of those questions. May 2023. Due to a large, play the music again. May 2023, due to a large advances of Shaw's royalty payment, the balance of Q1 royalties owed to Shaw came to $666.86. Guys, the royalty payment for the pink sauce only came to six. Uh, the balance of the quarter one royalties owed to Shaw came to $666.86. But that's because they decided to hold off on deducting ten thousand dollars in advances from royalties due to un due until a later period, so that Shaw has more funds to cover her needs at the time. Instead, paid her ten thousand dollars, six hundred sixty-six dollars and sixty-eight cents. Remember, they gave her advances. They could have took that out, but they didn't. They were nice to her. And remember that uh, Miss Shaw, she said that the quarter one payments were different from quarter two. And this is explaining why. This balance and all payments process have been outlined and communicated to Veronica consistently. Uh, Dave's Gourmet deducted the above mentioned advances of $10,000 at the second quarter royalty payment. June 2023, Shaw submitted an expense report to Dave's Gourmet that included a request for payment of her time dedicated to making social media content. Such request was outside the terms of the agreement. Like, what are you, what are you doing? Yeah, stop the music. <laughs> what are you doing that is so crazy that you feel like you need expenses paid and it sounds like her doing the marketing necessarily wasn't part of the agreements but it's like even when we watch her Instagram it was to me I didn't see anything that was like promoting the pink sauce it would just be her pretty much showing it it's all just surrounded in pink stuff and it's like so, and sometimes she was just trying to show that she had money so it's just kind of like what are you talking about marketing like if I was watching her Instagram unless I knew she was the pink sauce lady already if I was just watching her videos they'd be like oh she likes pink like it's not like she was doing to me it's not like she was doing a great job because she was so caught up in the money part of it she didn't market well at all she easily could have been on there be like hey guys the pink sauce is doing great hey the flavor is just really nice man I'm eating it today with some of this chicken or some, I'm eating this today on my salad man it tastes great y'all should go check it out it's only six six ninety seven at Walmart go ahead and get you a bottle today she could have been doing something to that but she didn't do any of that her, her marketing was weird her marketing was like if she was marketing to little kids it's like we are grown adults if you want to market your product you don't market it by just showing pink in the background I, it was Y'all go check out our Instagram and tell me if y'all thought, you know what? I want to buy more pink sauce. Play that music for me. So she, such request was outside the terms of the agreement. Dave's Gourmet asked for clarifications related to the various expenses solicited by Shaw, but backups and receipt and explanations were not provided. Dave's Gourmet reminded Shaw that ex business expense needed to be pre-approved by Dave's Gourmet. Dave's Gourmet has kept the time, this timeline of information private leading up to uh, leading up until Veronica took to social media with defamatory statements regarding the integrity of our business, which has put us in an unfortunate position to share the details that would otherwise remain private. In total, Veronica Shaw has received over $120,000 in payments for her partnership with Dave's Gourmet and Pink Sauce since August 2022 to date. She has has, she has certain obligations and contract related to social media activities that she has violated multiple times. But Dave's Gourmet chose not to enforce them to create a strained relationship. After Shaw went to social media to create the illusion that she is not being compensated properly, uh, 
uh, Davis Gourmet communicated to both Shaw and her attorney that Davis Gourmet would cover the cost of Shaw's legal counsel to go through provisions of the agreement and the payments to explain that the payments were correct. And Davis Gourmet is following the agreement. This proposal was rejected by Shaw. That music is ending perfectly, ain't it? You can't sit there and tell me it's not, baby. Okay. Came a little crooked. That's a little bit better. I gotta fix the brightness. All right. So after all of this, she was gonna have her stuff paid by the lawyer, right? And to go over it and make sure we go over all the agreement all over again, and she rejected it. And so that leads us to where we are. Thank you once again to T Spill. Y'all know the channel, 1.7 million followers. T Spill provided this because they deleted the, uh, or it's no longer available to what, read that whole thing. So thank you, T Spill, and all the other channels who have already talked about this. I got to it a little bit late, but I am here now, baby. So let me talk about all this right now. I want to bring up a certain somebody that we had talked about a couple weeks ago uh, that may have included some people call it a rock some people call it like a cinder block some people call it other things it's red it's like a rectangle and they called it like the red rectangle lady y'all know what i'm talking about uh when i made the original video that i made on the pink sauce lady and i was saying that it doesn't make a whole lot of sense we were asking where did the hundred and twenty thousand dollars go to what is it being paid for and it's from what she said she was spending money on an airbnb she was spending all this money for Airbnb and groceries. I'm like, okay, so from August 2022 of last year to now, she, she's been given $120,000. And she was also even, they even refunded the money that she was supposed to refund. That $30,000 that she had received and she didn't refund that money. So really $120,000, right? And she had already had 30 racks that she was supposed to have been moving forward, but we know she didn't give no refunds. Uh, so this $120,000 disappeared in just regular everyday expenses to the point where she didn't even have enough money to feed her kids. She didn't have enough money to feed her children. We had talked about that before. It's like, I'm just going to be real. You know what? I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to be cordial. Listen, these kind of people make me sick. They really make me sick to my stomach. These people who scam people, these people who ask for all these advances, this company was being nice to you to the point where they had to put out a thing. They could have did this a long time and blasted you, but they decided not to, and you blasted them. And then you went out of your way to get money from us, us regular folks out here living the life. After all that money you were showing on Instagram, after all the fla flaunting you were doing, eating your little whatever you were eating, showing, making it seem like you had all this money, when you said that the haters didn't like you because they sold 200,000 uh, bottles of pink sauce, you were saying that we were hating and you don't have enough money to feed your kids after they gave you $120,000 and then you're going to come to us and ask us for money, the same people that you were saying were haters. Us average people out here making our average money trying to feed our own damn kids and you want to go out of your way to ask for more money because you don't know how to spend money. That's what I don't understand about you, Chef P. You've got to grow up. I don't know how old you are, but from what I can see, you're a grown woman. You were quick to get on that stupid talk show host and be like, hey, you're not special. Well, guess what, Chef P? Neither are you. You put this company on blast. I'm not saying to say every company out there is great. I don't know. But to put them on blast after they helped you, after the FDA told you, you better not make another sauce. You better not ever make another sauce. They gave you a hand. Of course, they saw a business opportunity. Life is about opportunities, outcomes, and trade-offs. So there was an opportunity they saw. They believed in what you were doing, and they said, hey, then we can, let's see if we can't do something with this. Let's see if we can't make it big. And you know why it felt so bad? It wasn't because the pink sauce may not taste that great. It's not because it's just the pink sauce. It's because you 
were not good at marketing. They asked you to market and what you did in your marketing thing on your little Instagram was make it seem like you had all this money and all you did was make pink background. And they even said you violated, you violated the terms of your marketing agreement multiple times only to sit back and say, I need uh, $800 for the dress. What were you going to do? You know what was gonna, that was going to be so funny? It's kind of like how sometimes you see some some artists act like they have all this money. Now, some artists are honest and say, hey, this money is not mine. This is prop money. I got money from my label. But you didn't want to do that. What you were going to do, we all know what you were going to do. You were going to get on TikTok, put on your $800 dress, throw this big party and talk about how rich you were, knowing damn well you ain't got a cent. Or either that or you did have money. And you were just faking it so Dave Gourmet would give you even more money. This is why, and this is the bad thing too about being financially illiterate. I'm not here to say that if somebody had given me $120,000, if I had her mindset, I wouldn't have been stupid with it. Today, I would be much better with my money because I'm, I'm good with the little money that I got. Sorry, man, I'm getting too hype. I'm good with the little money that I have now. I'm good with the little money that I have now. However, however... One thing I tried never to do in this life is flaunt. <laughs> and I've been super broke, so I had nothing to flaunt. Jeppy, I'm really hoping you get it together. But I cannot help but be, the, the part that disgusts me the most is that you lie to get money from us. I can understand spending all your money and <laughs> being idiotic. It happens. Okay, I get being a goofball, but you went right on camera. To you in the it's not that you lied just to make Dory Davis Gourmet look bad. You lied to get money out of us. That just pisses me off. Okay? I'm not even super upset that you went and spent all your money like an idiot because that does happen. But the fact that you lied about it and then said you needed money from us after you were flaunting the money on us. You called us haters. You called us liars. You were talking about how much money you were making, and then you were begging for money because you had to lie to get it. And now that you've been exposed again, who's going to believe in you? You just make you make it you make it almost impossible for somebody who's an entrepreneur who wants to be a TikToker or whatever, a YouTuber, whatever influencer. You make it you make it harder for some of them to actually believe. Right. Because you lie like that. So people are going to now look side eye at somebody else who maybe wants to come out with their own blueberry muffins or something like that. Right. They're going to be look. We're going to be looking at them side eye now and be like, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Is she is, is she really making this money? Is she really this blueberry muffin? Is it really that great? I remember the pink sauce lady. I remember her. <laughs> it was an absolute travesty joke. That's all I'm saying, Pink Sauce Lady. You could have handled this better. You could have just said, hey, look. Guys, I got 120000 You didn't have to put, to put your money out there. But you could say, hey, man, I'm getting some advances, guys. You could have just been on and spent like uh, six figures. That's a lot for somebody in one year. Right? And you really could have spread that out. But you don't give a damn. But you really could have spread that out and made it happen. But you wanted, you did what most people do when they get a ton of money. They want to look rich. They want to look like they got that much money coming in. When you could have just chilled out and be like hey i'm just happy with what i got you know and it just i mean you could have made this pink sauce into a banger and you could have started spreading it out be like hey i know y'all guys were loving the pink sauce but fuck it let's go yellow sauce let's go this sauce or at least try to do something i don't know maybe in the new near future you could start mixing it up the only thing you talked about with this dumb barbie thing but the problem was is that if you were going to promote for Barbie, they would, obviously you can't just walk in and be like, hey, let's promote pink sauce for Barbie stuff. They're probably like, hey, we need a plan. We can't just go through with that. Barbie has its own thing. We have our own thing. We also own more. It's not like Dave's Gourmet only owns the pink sauce. They have their own sauces. You know that, right? They have hot sauce, pasta sauce. They have all this other stuff going on. You act like pink sauce was, and that's what's so damn frustrating too. Is that she made it seem like the pink sauce was running Dave's Gourmet like pink, like if, Dave's Gourmet gave up the pink sauce. They would just fall apart of the company. Don't forget, they were making you money, okay? They were helping you. They were trying to use you to help them make money and also help you make money. Off the royalties, 
But you, but you think that the pink sauce made Dave's Gourmet as if Dave's Gourmet hadn't been a company before you started. If they hadn't reached out a hand and threw you a life thing, girl, there would have been no chance you were going to get $120,000. That pink sauce would be gone. We, Because the FDA told you, you can no longer make this sauce. So it was dead if Dave's Gourmet had not came along. But you disrespected them, and now you beg us for money. I'm disgusted by Chef B. I can't believe she went this far. And Dave's Gourmet really put you on blast, girl. It's over for you. I think it's over. I think the pink sauce is dead now. Who's going to want to buy it? Who's going to want to buy it? If they know they know that the money is just going to go to Dave's Gourmet, they may support Dave's Gourmet. But are they going to support you? Somebody like you who is obviously vindictive and obviously, uh, to me, a mean-spirited person? Oh, no. <laughs> nope. You killed your own brand, right? Your own brain. You had a gold mine. Sorry, guys. My phone was ringing. That's why my video froze. Okay. So. All right. Pink sauce lady. You failed. Let me know what y'all think in the comments section down below. I'm gone. Peace.